stretching. Stretching is not something we all do. I personally am terrible at making myself stretch after workouts, but it's something we all should do. It's something we should try and do as much as we can post-workout, especially on difficult workout days like leg days. Stretching really helps with recovery, it helps you heal faster, and it keeps the aches out of your body so that you're ready to do that workout again sooner rather than later. So it's really important to stretch after your workouts. So for this video, I'm gonna take you all throughout my leg day stretches, show you some different stretches that I do. I would recommend doing at least one stretch from each muscle group that I show. I will show a few different stretches. And yes, try and do them after your leg workouts. And if you'd like me to post an upper body stretching workout, please let me know. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below for me. And always remember to follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna take you through my stretching routine. So after I do my leg workouts, I try and do some static stretches. This doesn't happen for me after every workout, but I would recommend doing static stretches as much as you can post-workout. It will help with recovery, and it will help your body feel a lot better. So I like to do static stretches after my workouts because they increase the length of your muscles. And when you increase the length of your muscles, you're improving your range of motion, which means you can spend more time under tension and you can go deeper within your stretches. And by achieving this larger range of motion through your stretches, you push that into your strength training exercises. And when you go deeper in your stretches, you're causing more damage to your muscles, which gives you the outcome you're looking for as you stretch. So for each of these stretches I'm showing you, try and hold them for about 20 to 30 seconds. You don't need to complete every stretch that I show in this video, but try and complete at least one stretch per muscle group that I show. And make sure the length you're holding your stretch on both sides is equal. You don't want to hold 5 seconds on one side and then 20 seconds on the other side. You want to create balance in your body. And make sure as you're doing these stretches, you are not bouncing. If you bounce in your stretches, you can cause tears, you can cause injury to your body. So make sure you're just holding your stretches. Try and go as deep as you can. You should feel some tension in your stretch but you should never feel any pain when you're stretching. And to stretch our adductors, so for this stretch, place both your legs as far to the side as you can comfortably, and then lean your upper body forwards over top of your legs. Again, make sure your back is as straight as you can keep it so you aren't causing tension on your back and you aren't injuring yourself. So next we're going to move on to some glute stretches. So for this stretch, lay on your back, Put one leg at a 90 degree angle. You can drop your foot if you'd like and lift the other leg over top, stretching your glute. Glute stretches aren't too important to focus on simply because most of us spend a lot of time throughout the day sitting, working desk jobs, so you are constantly stretching your glute muscle, but it is a good idea after you've completed a leg day to spend a little bit of time stretching it. Next, we're moving on to a quad stretch. So this one is especially good if you weren't quite flexible enough to complete the first quad stretch. So this one you can complete standing or you can complete kneeling like I am here. So you will just lift one leg up with your hands holding your foot and that will cause you to stretch your quad. And as you're doing this stretch, make sure you're keeping a straight line throughout your body. Try not to push your stomach forwards or have a curve in your back throughout this stretch. So next we are stretching our calves. So whenever you're working your legs, you're automatically including your calves throughout your workout. So it is good to spend a little bit of time stretching them. So for this stretch, I just place my one foot up against the wall and I'll hold it for about 20 seconds there, stretching each of my calves. Next, we're moving on to a child's pose stretch. So I like to complete the stretch near the end of my workout. I find it very relaxing and comfortable and it doesn't take as much effort for me as some of the other stretches. If you'd like some extra stretches, cross your legs over each other and bend your upper body over top of them. That will create a really nice stretch in your adductors. Hold that for about 20 seconds and then switch and do the other side to, to create an even effect. If you follow a lot of fitness accounts on Instagram or other social media, lately adductor work has been quite popular throughout leg workouts. So I would recommend stretching them after you do a leg workout like I am here. And then our last stretch of this routine is just placing your legs straight out in front of you and bending your upper body over top of them. And try and keep your knees as straight as you can without causing any pain to your body. I hope you guys liked that video. I hope I showed you some stretches you weren't aware of already or you haven't practiced in a long time so you can get back onto them and I hope this motivates you to start stretching after your workouts. Remember, you don't have to after every workout but I would recommend doing it whenever you have five minutes to spare. It doesn't take that long and it helps a lot in the long run. Thanks again, you guys.